Hello everybody! So I thought that I would just do a quick video about blue buff or shojin because this is something that I also think about a lot in my games. Of course I'm doing it on TFT set 10 uh, version 13.24. So first let's take a look at blue buff and shojin. So right now they both give AD and AP but they do slightly different things. Remember that blue buff actually reduces your maximum mana by 10 and also gives you 10% damage after you get a takedown. So this will play in later into the different champion playstyles. In TFT, mana is generated on attack as well as when your units get hit by other units. So you can see at the lower right hand side here, all units generate 10 mana per attack and taking damage gener generates blah 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 blah. Let's focus on the 10 mana per attack and assume that the units don't take damage because if you take that into consideration, the analysis becomes quite complicated. So, on the left hand side here, what I've actually done is that I have plotted out a table of blue buff mana generation versus shojin. So you can see, for the first cast, it's different because the items have starting mana as well. This teal, uh, what color is this? Teal green? Uh, swamp. This 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 uh, light light swamp color is where blue buff and shojin then generate the same amount of mana. So if a champion has sixty max mana, it means that with both blue buff and shojin, it will cast their ability on the third attack. So it's a bit confusing because you have to take note that blue buff reduces maximum mana by ten. That's why uh. 50 is equal to 60 here. And for the other cast, because they start at 0 instead, you can see that Shojin actually outscales blue buff really hard. So any champion that has above 30 mana, Shojin is actually better for them because it helps them cast faster. This means that if you don't care about damage, Shojin is actually strictly better if the champion has above 60 max mana. Especially if it starts at 0 mana on the first cast. But of course we know that this is not always the case and I'll go into that later. Just for fun, I've also put in the stats for the Radiant Blue Buff and Radiant Spear of Hirana. For the, this Spear of Hirana, you'll need to double check in game because I couldn't manage to roll it, it's quite rare. But basically, in terms of mana generation, Radiant Shojin uh, outclasses Blue Buff pretty hard. So. I think this will be a useful chart for most people. Here is a summary of all the champions in set 10 that utilize mana generation very well. I've color coded it on the left by cost and you can take a look. This is not just my opinion. I have also cross referenced this with other people's opinion as well as uh, TF tactics, mobilitics, that kind of thing. Yeah, if we go back and we look at the cutoff point, the cutoff point is 60 maximum mana. And you can see that this is actually pretty consistent. So for this mana here, right? By the way, this mana, how you read it is any starts at zero mana and has a maximum mana of 50. Counts as sort of like their base stat. Yeah, so Bart starts at 15 mana naturally. Senna starts at 30, Seraphine starts at zero. But after the first cast, they will start at they will all start at zero. Here are the four and five costs. You can see also pretty consistent. The interesting question now is, what other considerations do you have? Is it true that you just, every time a champion has over 60 mana, you just throw Shojin on them? Here are the other considerations. First, and I think most importantly, is champion playstyle. So there are certain champions who want to nuke opponent champions, for example, Ari, Vex. I think Ari is the best example. If you're constantly getting takedowns, it means that you're constantly dealing 10% more damage considering that Ari already has 30 maximum mana she will basically cast pretty much instantly for every single cast so blue buff is perfect for her but there are other champions that are more utility based and are not based around damage for example if you want to run Gwinsu Sona with Shojin where she'll just cast that huge shield on your board as soon as possible in that case then Shojin is much better because you don't really care about damage, you only care about casting as fast as possible. A very very underrated consideration is that sometimes you just don't have a choice. And this analysis is just to tell you how different Shojin is from blue buff. 
So sometimes you don't hit the double tier, you have to go Shoujin. I mean, unless you want to wait for the next PvE round, which which means you could be sacrificing HP or you could be sacrificing the strength of your team, essentially. And that's pretty much it. 